Trevor Noah has left The Daily Show, but of course he's only 38 years old, so he's obviously going to be joining another show. Now there's a massive news network that's eyeing him for one of their slots, and you might be shocked to hear what it could be. Yep, CNN is considering giving Noah a prime time slot. One of the, one of the overriding feelings I, I, I found myself experiencing throughout the nights and, and even today waking up was was a feeling of gratitude. As someone who doesn't really enjoy CNN because it's just news, I think this will really make the channel interesting. They could really use someone to make people laugh. Because here's the thing about Trevor, right? He's so funny. He would really add some spice to the channel. And this is exactly why the American channel is thinking of filling one of its primetime spots with the South African. But he's not the only one they're interested in. Bill Maher, Arsenio Hall, and Jon Stewart are also some of the people that they're considering. It would be such a wonderful full circle moment, though, if they could hire Noah and Stewart together. It's terrifying, it's exciting, it's an honor, and most importantly, I think it's a celebration because the first one was deep in the pandemic, and now cases are going down, people are getting back together, we're going to have an audience. And have you wondered why this is happening? Why is CNN suddenly looking to make people laugh? The rise of streaming. The rise of streaming now means that the news channel needs to compete in a saturated market. Everyone has tons of content to watch. There's YouTube, there's Netflix, there's Hulu. Okay, look, I can spend the entire video listing streaming services. You get the point. So with every Everything going on everywhere, CNN really has to up its game. The entire point of considering Noah has been to snatch viewers away from HGTV, ESPN, and Netflix. They're not really trying to compete with places like MSNBC, to be honest. But other than trying to compete with these companies, there's one other reason they're trying out this new template. CNN has been restructured. Um, and, then I, and then I look at this now, I don't take it for granted ever. Every seat that has ever been filled to watch something that I'm doing, I always appreciate because I know the empty seat that sits behind it. So thank you. Thank you to the people who watch. So here's the thing. CNN went through some crazy restructuring last year after the merger that gave us Warner Brothers Discovery. Warner Brothers Discovery is basically their parent company. And then around the same time, CNN came up with its own streaming platform. And believe me when I tell you, it flopped so freaking hard. So Chris Licht became the CEO of the network. Under him, the streaming platform I mentioned was created and then canceled. And then Reliable Sources, a kind of popular talk show, was also canceled. It was a show that had gone on for 30 freaking years. The point of me telling you all of this is that CNN has been in trouble. It hasn't been good for most conventional networks, but CNN has been especially affected by this. So now they're trying out something new, trying to be hip for the lack of a better word. But here's the problem. They might not exactly get what they want because there's a minor hindrance. Jon Stewart is already signed up with Apple TV. Yep, Jon's all tied up. His show with Apple's called The Problem with Jon Stewart. Just by the way, you should go check it out. It really is pretty awesome. But the point of this is, a deal with CNN at this point is going to be extremely difficult. Marr maybe would be able to join. He already works for CNN's parent company, so like they won't have a hard time convincing him. A <laughs> but as far as our favorite comedian Noah is concerned, we really can't say what he's up to. Look guys, he's a smart man, there's no doubt about that, so he definitely does have some sort of plan in mind. And if you know Noah like I do, okay fine you got me, I don't know Noah at all. But knowing what little I do know about him, chances are that he's already had a plan in mind. So I don't think he's gonna join either. But it'll be awesome if he does, for CNN of course. Trevor's a big name, and he can really bring lots of viewers. But while we're talking about Noah's next gig... It's funny how people are Ask a, like people ask you this question as if you're telling them bad news. Yeah, you know, and I can understand that. But I, I think I think everybody has gone through a period of looking at their life. Who's going to be replacing him on The Daily Show? Put your hands together for Leslie Jones. She's funny, she's snarky, and most importantly, she's an SNL alum. Yep, she spent five freaking years on the NBC show, so she seems like the perfect candidate to replace him. But here's the thing, don't fall in love with her because it's only temporary. The 55-year-old's only joining as a guest host. She won't be joining full-time after that. And you know what I'm hoping for? I'm really looking forward to her bringing her vulnerable honesty to the show. It's really going to be super funny if she does. And guess what? She's doing exactly that. No, don't just take my word for it. Here's what the veteran had to say. I'm not Jon Stewart. I'm not Trevor Noah. I'm Leslie Jones. So I'll be bringing that vulnerable honesty. And you know what? This show, she's going to be an amazing host because she's not going to try being someone she's not. She's not going to try copying anyone. She's going to be her awesome self. And that means the show will be fun and authentic. They've been very helpful. They, they're 
you know, giving us great options and ideas and being very supportive. Really and that's nice. not it. There are more good news, guys. Her work for The Daily Show won't be much different from her work at SNL. Leslie herself stated that she doesn't really treat any assignment as different. She just comes on the set and does what she does best. She even stated that her new gig won't be too different from her doing the updates on SNL or doing general stand-up. She even stated that it's all talking. Wow, being funny must come easy to her if that's how she feels. Jones will be hosting on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Because here's the thing about her, she's got another gig too. She's currently the host of ABC's game show, Supermarket Sweep. Here's one thing that's going to excite you for sure. Don't get me wrong. New Zealand is beautiful. Okay. First of all, it's beautiful. Mm. But it was New Zealand. It wasn't like home. You know what I'm saying? So the other folks who are all set to act as guest hosts. So we're going to see Al Franken, Chelsea Handler, D.L. Hughley, John Leguizamo, Hassan Minaj, Cal Penn, and Sarah Silverman. Now that's a massive lineup. And that's an extremely star-studded lineup as well. Hassan Minaj has already spent quite quite some time with the show. Fans are already aware of him and they love him, so he's definitely going to be a hit. Wouldn't it be nice if we could maybe just get him full time? Al Franken wouldn't make a bad host either. Cal Penn could definitely do the job pretty amazingly as well. He's funny without a doubt. Here's one name that hasn't come up, Desi Lydic. Her sarcastic sense of humor is really amazing, and she's someone who could make people laugh with no effort. She's already well known amongst the audience of the show too. And I'm in the corner, I'm like, is the filibuster tomorrow? What is happening tomorrow? I gotta remember, what's happening? Oh yeah, the death ceiling is that what's it's like oh. no no wow. so now i decide when to yeah. consume you but now that trevor noah has announced that he's leaving i know you're a little curious to find out who it could be hint rumors are linking two names to the job and the answer might surprise you al franken and hassan minaj yep these two are set to become guest hosts as well but according to rumors and speculations these two are the most likely candidates and don't worry they won't be working as a pair it's going to be either of them hassan minaj is well suited for this job his show on netflix the patriot act became a hit instantly. It was really super funny, and it showed that you can tastefully tackle difficult subjects with comedy. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> but how do you know this? <laughs> what? At the same time, he was brave enough to say certain things that maybe could have gotten him in trouble. Al Franken's gonna be good too. He's super funny, and he has experience. But there's a problem with him. That whole picture controversy made him resign as a senator. Yeah, some fans, rightfully, aren't okay with that. And folks, that's that. See y'all soon. Uh, it's not harvest time. It is Winter. not harvest yeah. time. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's right, it's February. Yeah. Yeah. Going there, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell us anymore, we know now, yeah. Ah, oh, kids, man. I can't do this. Kids. <laughs> so I go, oh, kids, tell me more. Because I, I know this sounds weird, but in my head you said, oh, yeah, no, and this is my fiancé. And then I was like, what's the French for fiancé? <laughs> And I was ready. I was like, I'm gonna surprise my dad. I plan to get to his house, knock on the door. He's gonna open and be surprised, like, oh, Trevor. And then I'll be like, Papa, espresso in Deutsch. I was in heaven. I was like, this is genuinely insane. Like, everyone tries to act fancy about it. I see people tweeting all the time, like, oh, nobody cares about the Oscars. Who cares? <laughs>